Hi, it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel and we're entering a new weekly reading vlog. I feel like I've gotten the hang of doing a weekly reading vlog, so I think I'm going to continue doing it with special reading vlogs on the side because there are a couple that I want to do just by themselves that aren't part of like a whole week thing. Um, so it is currently Sunday evening. I just finished refilming my September wrap up in October TBR because the first video just uh, when I was trying to edit it, it just, it was grainy and I just needed to redo it. So I quickly just did that. I'm waiting on my latest reading vlog to upload to YouTube, but it's taking forever. So I'm probably going to download a an audiobook of either Wicked Deeds on a Winter's Night by Cressley Cole or The Marriage Spell by Mary Jo Putney. Um, this is a paranormal romance and this is a historical romance with paranormal elements. So I feel like they're really good to start October off with. Um, they're both purple. <laughs> I love purple. <laughs> and, um, I just don't know if I'm in the mood for historical or paranormal, like full on paranormal. Um, so I'll decide that in the next couple of minutes because I will listen and read along while I'm waiting for my YouTube video to upload. And yeah, I don't have much to update other than I have 12, 12 plus books on my TBR. I say plus because I only mentioned 12 books, but um, basically this entire library is up for grabs because we know how I am with TBRs. I don't stick well with them. I'll read some of them and then I'll just completely veer off. So I don't know if I'm going to be completely veering off or not, or if I get through these 12 books and it's only the middle of October and I have to read so many more. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, so other than that, there is not much to update you on. So I will update you when I have more to update.
okay, so it's like 7.30, 7.45 on Monday night, and our mail just got delivered. Last week it was getting delivered at like 12.30 or 1 in the afternoon, and today it got delivered at 7.30. Um, this came, I think this is the box of 17 historical romance books that I got for literally $11. So I haven't looked inside it yet. Um, I don't even remember if it was a mix mystery or if it was what was shown on the picture. I don't know. But I also wanted to show you, so I'm a huge planner nerd and one of my favorite shops is Sweet Bean Plus. Sweet Bean Plus is Sweet Bean Plans. And so she had a sale, like a collaboration sale, um, I think a week or two ago. And so it came today and here is some of the washi that came. Like super excited for it. And I figured I'd show you guys these stickers. Um, because they're super cute and I love her design so much so here's the cute little sampler this was one of the freebies sorry my lighting is like wonky and so I'm super excited because she had like a little Sabrina um, design, and so I picked up some of the Sabrina stuff. Let me show you that. Isn't that cute? Oh, I can't wait to use that. And then this is like a Foxy Fall. And then cute little dragons and unicorns. I have matching washi because this was like a redesign from a sub kit that she did last year. And then I also got like mini like weeks kits for like my bookish stuff. So there's that. And then there was also like a Mean Girls kind of theme going on because look at those coffee trays. They're Mean Girls themed. And then I got some of those. So just really wanted to show you that. Um, if you're a planner nerd like me, definitely go check out Sweet Bean Plans because she's amazing and she's so nice too. All right, now that I got that out of the way, well, let's open this baby up. It is, it is the box of 17 historicals, so yay. All right, first things first is To Marry a Scottish Laird by Lindsay Sands. I'll have to get some goo gone and get that sticker off because I hate stickers and yay. Step back. Where am I putting these? Okay. Um, the Golden Lord by Miranda Jarrett. Ooh, this one, I don't think I've had any that have one on the back, so that's exciting. The Rake's Inherited Courtesan by Anne Lethbridge. There's that, and this one's not really a step back, but it does, I mean, it's kind of a step back, but it's just the cover. And then, The Girl with the Make-Believe Husband by Julia Quinn. Is this one of the Bridgerton ones? I'm not sure. Um... The Overlord's Bride by Margaret Moore. The 
The Duke by Galen Foley. Highland Wolf by Lois Griman. I don't think I have any Lois Grimans either. Desire by Nicole Jordan. Thief of Shadows by Elizabeth Hoyt. And this one does have a step back. Ready for it? Woohoo! It's kind of a double. It's pretty. The Last Wore Black by Karen Ranny. I like that. To Desire a Wicked Duke by Nicole Jordan. How the Scoundrel, Scoundrel, How the Scoundrel Seduces by Sabrina Jeffries. I'm running out of room, people. The Hellion by Laverel Spencer. To Romance a Charming Rogue by Nicole Jordan. Christmas in Camelot by Brenda K. Jernigan. Along Came a Duke by Elizabeth Boyle. And Duchess in Love by Eloisa James. So, I mean, they're not in like the best shape, but I literally got 17 of them for $11, including the shipping. So I can't really complain. Um, but yeah, that being said, I will do an, oh, uh, well, I guess I can do an update for you now. Um, I, where's my book? I listened to the first, like, 115 pages of The Marriage Spell. So far, I'm really liking it. Um, this paranormal historical romance thing that it's got going on is pretty awesome. So I'm super excited to finish that up. Um, my candle stuff came, so I'm going to be making candles tonight. I'll try and do some vlogging of that. Um, and if it goes well, I might be opening up my own shop. So more on that later. Um, until later, I'll update you guys.
Um, happy Thursday. It's been a hot minute since I've done any updating. Um, I just dropped my daughter off at school and me and my son are just going to take a ride, like a, a ride. We're just going to take a drive around the area. <laughs> Not necessarily town because I like to go like around like the scenic route. Um, one, it helps with our sanity. Two, it helps with my writing. And I've been trying to do some preptober for my NaNoWriMo project. So, that being said, I have done quite a bit of reading this week. I have, I think, about five or six chapters left of Magnate by Joanna Shoup. Um, and I, I think I'm still only a hundred pages in on the marriage spell, but right now I'm in the Starbucks drive through line, gonna get myself some good coffee and take a drive and I will update y'all later. Um, I forgot to update y'all. Last week was just, um, a little more chaotic than usual for me. Um, we saw my brother-in-law for a couple of days and we hadn't seen him in a few months, um, because he's been working a lot. And so... We were hanging out with him. My kids have been extra clingy this week. Um, but I was able to finish Magnate by Joanna Shoup. Um, I finished this on Saturday. Um, and I liked it. Um, I still have to put in like all the stats for like the cop pile for it but I think it's probably going to be a low four star um either a low four star or a high three star I'm not sure um I liked it I enjoyed it I was just wanting more from it I think um so all in all I think it was a great start to the Gilded Age era that she writes in um, and I'm excited to see more. I'm really curious to see how she's going to redeem Will because in this book I hated Will and I'm going into the next book, Baron, hating the main hero. So I'm really intrigued to see how she does that and, um, but yeah, so Emmett, he was an old school kind of hero and um, oh my god, what was her name? Lizzie. She, um, is, like, kind of, like, new school-ish. Um, and I really liked them together. There was just something about this book just didn't scream five stars for me. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I'll probably reread it again if I want to um but yeah 
So I finished this one and I came so close to finishing this one. Um, I've been just kind of like listening to the audio version of this because it's on Audible Escape and I'm using it as much Audible Escape as I can before it goes away and instead it's um, there's like this Audible Plus catalog or something like that, which I know some of the stuff that's on Escape's not going to be on the Plus catalog, so I'm just trying to use as much as I can for Audible Escape. So I've been like listening to this a little bit each night while I'm playing a game on my phone because why not kill two birds with one stone? And I'm like seriously so close. I think I have like 70 pages or something left and I'm really liking it. It's definitely different from all the other historical romances I've read because this also has paranormal in it. And um, I'm excited to give you guys all my thoughts about this in the next reading vlog because I don't want to give all my thoughts to something that I haven't finished yet. Um, so hopefully I'll finish this this upcoming week. With that being said, um, sorry if my voice sounds funny, um, my allergies are kicking my ass and the post nasal drip is not my friend and for some reason I haven't been taking my allergy pills. When will I learn? Probably never. Um, so that is the quick update to this past week. I read one and a half books. Um, well, almost two books, but we're just going to say one and a half. And um, hopefully this upcoming week is better. I... Yeah, I don't know. All right. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps and I appreciate it and if you're not a subscriber and you want to subscribe I would gladly appreciate you and love you forever um, but that was my reading update for this week I hope you guys enjoyed it I know there was some cooking segments some candle making segments some brownies making segments and if you like that, just let me know and I'll keep showing you more of like my daily life type of things instead of just updates on my reading. But until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.